So now with all these wedding related events, I'm finding out that there's a lot of steps that I was not in the loop on. Apparently there's bridal showers, engagement shoots, obviously bachelorette, like honestly so many steps that I didn't even know were part of the process and now it is my turn to partake in them. So I Googled engagement shoot. The results were giving me unseasoned. Anyways, I've decided that if I'm gonna do an engagement shoot, I'm gonna do it my way. We're getting married in Colombia, and I want this shoot to have a little extra Flair. I want it to feel like it's the cover of Latin Vogue. And hopefully these pictures come out good. Good morning. Today is the engagement shoot. You always support me with 12330, so now I'm giving it back to you guys. $500 every day, sponsored by 12330. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Today's winner is Vanessa May, all the way from the Philippines. Shout out, Philippines. Let me set you up. Okay. So today's the day of the engagement shoot and I told myself when I found out what an engagement shoot was because I didn't know that like people did this and then once we got engaged, I started getting texts, are you doing an engagement shoot? And I'm like, oh, after investigative research and actually following cool people on Instagram, there's a way to do an engagement shoot in a cool, classy, interesting to look at, not extremely tacky, extremely cringy, extremely chuggy way. So I'm taking my stab at that today, but who knows, maybe mine will be a chug fest, but like, that's fine. Hi, Miss Natalie's here. Hi. Did you see the news? Cause we got news for you. I am knocked the F up. <laughs> <laughs> not having a baby boy. But, but you can't tell, I just look really fat. Well, you're, you have a baby in your stomach. I don't know what you want to be snatched. She's having a boy. And we're very excited. Wait, 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 but I want to show you the looks. Those are giving me slutty bride. Slutty, I Those are giving me bachelorette. <laughs> but like, how fucking annoying that Nat got pregnant now, because now bachelorette. Oh, this is annoying, you should change your date. <laughs> Again. I know. Okay, so this is the picture that I showed for the hair. I want the look to feel Latina, so we're using J-Lo as the inspo for hair. Latina, yeah, yeah. And then for the glam, now, nah, how are we going to make me a Latina queen? We're gonna go bronzy, we're gonna do brown lip. I feel like I'm making a YouTube video, <laughs> not like I'm doing an engagement shoes up. Does that make sense? Teddy, what are you wearing? Like big khaki pants with a white linen top and uh, some cool little like loafers. Cute. Is the boot part of your look? Show the boot. <laughs> Penny broke his foot. It looks the same size. Yeah. Right? First of all, this is coming out so good. Second of all, Nat says she learned to hack. Can we get some lighting up in here? Oh, yes. I'm like, it's all dark. It really is dark. Let there be light. Is this powder specific for photo? It's um, water resistant, no flashback, and it just lasts longer. Like, what if you and Henny have a moment and you like start crying? <laughs> no, it's not that romantic. Is an engagement shoot supposed to be like sappy? Well, what if it is? Oh my gosh, okay, okay, perfect, then I'm set. If you're going out and you might cry and you need this. Derma blend. Thermal blend. If you have speculation that your man's gonna leave you. No flashback and waterproof. Here's my trick. So after you set all the makeup or whatnot, lightly put this in the blush and then you put it right underneath the eye. Oh, after it's set. Mm -hmm. So you look at the mirror. Ooh. You look more sun-kissed. Yeah, it looks like a more of a natural blush. Oh, wow. Yes. You see Henny, he's just wearing like the same outfit in a different font. In a different, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> literally. We just had to climb like 30 stairs in Henny scratches, but he prevailed. Slay, yeah. slay, slay. Yeah. Um, I feel like the check-in people were confused why 8,000 people were coming into this room. So they're looking at us like, um, and I clarified at the end. I'm like, we're not all sleeping here. Look at this location. I feel like this location cannot be any better. They gave me champagne at the check-in desk. I've eaten nothing today, but... That's just how I like to roll. I don't even think I've shown you the dress yet. So this dress is literally just so happened to be made from a Cartagena designer. And it's hot and it's movable and it's like gorge. This is look numero uno. Why did I just say that like a white person? Um, yeah. I feel like my daughter's getting married. This is so special. <laughs> Thank you, Nat. Yeah, this shit is fat because this one like fits right in. At the end of the day, you're gonna be oh. fucked. I wouldn't risk it any yet. Everybody's telling you no. Well, let's take some fucking pictures. No, <laughs> okay, it's time for the shoot, baby. Look at this location. I can't believe how perfect this is. This is a random ass hotel in Arizona that I found and it is giving me Columbia. First of all, the outfits together look gorge. It's giving everything it has to give. 
The posing is funny because I feel like I'm such a better poser than Henny and then I'm like working it, like giving it my all and Henny's just kind of like there. But the engagement shoot's really supposed to highlight the bride anyways, you know, the vibes. And my favorite vibe was this one. We're like dancing in a room and it really lets the room shine with us being placed in it from far away. Like that's my favorite vibe. The dress photographed amazing. Oh my God, we literally went to Columbia for a gas tank price. Who needs a flight? <laughs> That was great. Wow. Okay, let's get it. Should we just have the wedding here and act like it's okay. gone? <laughs> no. I kicked Henny to the curb for a little bit and did some solos. I was really serving a lot of leg for somebody who's 5'1". It's angles, baby. Take them from down low, low to the flow, and you look like a Victoria's Secret angel. I don't know what to tell you. I just learned what an engagement shoot I know, was. Literally. <laughs> I feel like it feels corny in the moment, but 10 years down the line, we're going to be glad no, that we... No, it's super cool. I yeah. think so. Why not? I think we should have some random pictures. I mean, like, we're not like so posed like this. You mean like what more lifestyle? Yeah. Fit yeah. of the day. Cartagena based designer, baby. Gotta keep it authentic. The shoes. What are the shoes, Justin? Fem LA. Fem LA on the shoes. This is like the signature honey look, I feel it's like. It's it? Yeah. I, I think it's cool. I wasn't expecting this location to look as much like Colombian vibes as it is, but it's gi it's giving Colombia. Yes. Brianna. We're doing great. They're gonna be so good. Period. So excited. Hear you. Henny has a specific vision. Cause I'm like directing half this. You show. are. That uh, camera guy right there. Don't worry too much about how you look. Just forget that the camera's there. These came out so cool. It literally looks like our wedding is happening and we stepped outside to have a little chat together. Like I'm obsessed with these shots. They were Henny's idea. Shout out to him directing them. Okay. So we're doing a hair change and an outfit change. We're doing this updo. Not nah, what would you? How do you describe the updo? Like a cute Kim Anderson, Kim K one. And we're gonna do this like super cute shock moose dress. That's like giving me honestly like classy woman energy. Dress is giving me like la patrona. La patrona. <laughs> yes. Do you remember seeing Cenas no hay paraíso? Yes. Yes. That's what it's got, like. Mm, uh, like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> like novela. Like telenovela. Tele okay, I'm trying to get like this. The vision that I have is like running down the hallway, blurry. Like, oh, we're just like running to our wedding, blah blah blah. But he obviously can't run because he's like injured or whatever. So we're gonna try to like fake it. And this is the moment where we got the shot. Like literally the shot, the one that I envision as in my mind, the cover of Vogue. This is that moment. Like we got the shot, baby girl. Like what? Are you kidding me? I like it better in black and white. I think I'm going to use it on Instagram in black and white because it looks like you can literally write on the top of it in white letters, Vogue, bitch. So do I post it in color or black and white? I feel like the obvious answer is black and white here. And we got the shot, baby. Like what? Vamonos a la bola. You know what I'm saying? Like period. Okay, first of all, shout out to Henny for doing all of this on his foot. Like he was literally crutching around our engagement shoot. What a trooper. And look, these are my thoughts. After looking back at the photos and looking back at the experience itself, I'm so glad that we went a little bit off the path of what is traditional and what is typical and we didn't just copy paste everything from Google. Because now looking back at these pics, I feel like they really are reflective of us. And once we do have the wedding in Colombia, every bridal picture is gonna feel cohesive, is gonna feel on theme, and they're really all gonna flow together nicely. I'm so glad that I went a little bit out of the box for these pics, and I encourage you, honestly, I'm feeling inspired and I'm feeling lit after this. I encourage you, if you have prom pictures, homecoming pictures, your 21st birthday, whatever it is, do it a little bit differently. And I'm not saying do a cheesy over the top theme to separate yourself from the masses. Like it doesn't have to be a theme, but I encourage you to do something that feels a little bit more connected to you personally, your story, where you're at in that moment. Because now looking at these pics, I'm like, yes, these are so us. And I don't think I'm going to look back at these pics and cringe. I think I'm going to look back at these pics and be like, I connect. Okay, thanks for watching. Before I go, I need your help, girls. I've already asked my friends and family their opinions, and I might as well ask you. So I'm already asking everybody to go to Columbia for this wedding and it's pretty soon. So I have to figure out something for my bachelorette. I wanna do something that's not a mission for everybody to get to, preferably domestic and not too expensive. That could still be iconic. So let me know if you have any ideas and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.